In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome, dear friends, to our Eucharistic celebration on this first Saturday of the month, specially dedicated to our devotion to our Mother, the Blessed Mother. And uh, today in this community, we are also st starting a tridum of preparation in preparation for the Nativity of Mary on the 8th of this month. And we continue to implore her maternal care and help for all of us, for our world, today especially as we face this great threat and challenge of this pandemic. So to worthily celebrate this Eucharist, we ask God's mercy and pardon. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, and free us from every danger, so that we may rejoice in your peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, learn from myself and Apollos not to go beyond what is written, so that none of you will be inflated with pride in favor of one person over against another. We con who confers distinction upon you? What do you possess that you have not received? But if you have received it, why are you boasting as if you did not receive it? You are already satisfied. You have already grown rich 
you have become, become kings without us. Indeed, I wish that you had become kings so that we also might become kings with you. For as I see it, God has exhibited us apostles as the last of all, like people sentenced to death, since we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and men alike. We are fools on Christ's account, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we in disrepute. To this very hour, we go hungry and thirsty. We are poorly clad and roughly treated. We wander about homeless, and we toil, working with our hands. When ridiculed, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we respond gently. We have become like the world's rubbish, the scum of all, to this very moment. I am writing you this not to shame you, but to admonish you as my beloved children. Even if you should have countless guides to Christ, yet you do not have many fathers, for I became your father in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. The Lord is just in all His ways and holy in all His works. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him, to all who call upon Him in truth. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. He fulfills the desire of those who fear Him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord keeps all who love Him, but all the wicked He will destroy. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all flesh bless His holy name forever and ever. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory, glory to you o lord while jesus was going through a field of grain on a sabbath his disciples were picking the heads of grain rubbing them in their hands and eating them some pharisees said why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus said to them in reply, Have you not read what David did when he and those who were with him were hungry? How he went into the house of God, took the bread of offering, which only priests could lawfully eat, ate of it, and shared it with his companions? He, then he said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Magandang gabi sa mga sa ibang tako sa, ng mundo. Bawal 
judgmental is one of my favorite uh, and I enjoyed watching this uh, Bawal Judgmental is a game segment of a popular noon show where uh, a player is made to choose among a group of people wherein one gives some hints about who or who or who he is or she is uh, through her experiences in life. The player would uh, examine his or her decisions or choices. And it is a tough role to make decisions. Who is who? As a viewer, I also make, take down my, uh, note my own choices. And I notice that the average correct answer that I have is below 50%. One realizes how difficult to make judgment or choice, and one cannot uh, just rely on impressions and appearances. Choices at times that seem to be uh, the ones because uh, of one's impressions prove to be wrong. The lesson is to be very careful when one is making a choice, especially in judging others. In fact, in the strict sense, it is only God who can pass judgment on people. Why? Because it is only God who knows us totally, completely. It is a pity when people jump to uh, rush judgment about others. You look at social media, how sometimes people make judgment without even knowing the whole story or just a hint and they make a story, a judgment that, is, that no, of things. And it is sad no, to see this. Instead of seeing the good being done, for example, by the followers of Jesus, his, critic, his critics complained that his disciples were not observing the Sabbath. Critics will always find fault in others. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus makes his critics realize that they who were pretending to know well the law did not totally know the law and its practice. When accused that his disciples were breaking the Sabbath, Jesus gave a common sense answer backed by uh, spiritual proof. His disciples were plucking ears of grain and eating them, an action normally allowed on weekdays. But Jesus proved that it could also be done on the Sabbath by reminding them when David and his men got special permission to eat the temple bread reserved normally for priests. In this opportunity, Jesus not only pointed to them a wider scope of the law, but also went further to teach them a deeper meaning of Sabbath. Through this symbolic action of plucking grains, Jesus teaches a lesson. According to the uh, tradition or to the prophetic tradition of what it means, what is the true worship, the essence of a true worship, 
the ritual observance of Sabbath in Judaism was treading fearfully towards a very strict, rigorous, and obsessive observance that uh, uh, treat or uh, that law regarding Sabbath and its celebrations, uh, for example, they have this, this, this so-called Oneg Shabbat, which means the joy of the Sabbath in Hebrew, is a Jewish uh, social gathering on Friday evening, was during the time of Jesus had so many prohibitions. The 39 chapters of this Oneg Shabbat had also 39 prohibitions. So Christ in the spirit of the prophets like Isaiah, Amos, Hosea, Jeremiah, proposes again the, a deeper and a more original view of the Sabbath, of meaning of the Sabbath, and that is the primacy and the importance of our adhesion to God in its totality in the totality of our life, of our existence. A worship, a cult that diminishes and humiliates life and justice is a farce. It is a magic. And Luke, St. Luke, going beyond the version of St. Uh, Mark, the Sabbath is for human beings and not humans for the Sabbath. We find that in Mark. On this issue, Luke affirms another theological and spiritual element and foundation meaning of the Sabbath, that the true worship of God is Christ-centered or Christological. The Son of Man is the Lord of the Sabbath. It is in Christ that worship, liturgy, cult, finds its power and its liberating efficacy. And it is Christ that our Sabbath becomes a sign of life and of salvation. For those who have propensity of finding fault in others. The Lord is reminding us to be careful because we do not have the grasp of the whole reality. Besides, we are in the same boat like any other human being. We are all struggling human beings like others. Secondly, laws and traditions, customs like the Sabbath and other traditions and uh, customs that we have are good for they provide us stability and order in our life as individuals and as a society, as group. They help us to form our character. But when these become burdensome and not life-giving anymore, then these need to change or to be reinterpreted so that they can recover, regain their original force like Jesus did with the teaching, with his teaching on Sabbath by putting first at, and at the center the good of persons as the prime value more than any law, any tradition. We ask the Lord that uh, as we uh, face our daily life that we may have a discerning heart 
like Jesus and always see things, traditions, or whatever we have according to His law that is the law of love, the law that is enabling a law that favors life, that engenders life. And may our Blessed Mother continue to guide us toward that Spirit of Christ that is open, discerning, and always after the good of everyone. Amen. Let us pray to God our Father who has called us all His sons and daughters to become free in His Son, Jesus Christ. For every prayer, let our response be, Let your word save us, O Lord. Let your word save us, Lord. That Christians may regard the commandments of God as doors to freedom from sin and evil, we pray. Let, Let your, your word, word save, save us, us, O Lord. That those who work in law enforcement and government may consistently place the welfare of the people above legalistic concerns, we pray. Let, Let your, your word save, save us, us, O Lord. That in worshiping the God whom we cannot see, we may not forget our needy brothers whom we see, we pray. Let, Let your, your word save, save us, us, O Lord. That the Lord may heal those who suffer from various physical and spiritual maladies, we pray. Let your, your word, word save, save us, us, O Lord. For our leaders and government officials, that the Holy Spirit may guide them to make sound and swift policy decisions to fight this public health crisis, and that they put the welfare of the general public first above self-interests, we pray. Let, Let your, your word save, save us, O Lord. That the dead may now rest in the company of God, we pray. Let, Let your the word save us, us, O Lord. In silence, we pray for our other intentions. We pray. Let, let your, your word save, save us, us, O Lord. Lord God, let every command of yours be to us an invitation to love and to serve our brothers and sisters, to understand and to respect, to guide and to be guided. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. We offer you, O Lord, these offerings of conciliation and praise, humbly asking that following the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may present our very selves as a holy sacrifice pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them, them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of the saints, especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you made us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. <laughs> fund of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Honesto, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those we remember in this Mass, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. With gratitude in our hearts, let us now address our Heavenly Father with the prayer our Lord himself taught us. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus Christ, the Lord of the Sabbath. Behold him who is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace with the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now we pray the Triduum prayers in preparation for the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, invoking her to help us, to help our world. And uh, we, as a community, offer these prayers to her. Heavenly Child, lovable Mary, the Eternal Father delights in your birth, for He beholds in your coming into this world 
one of his creatures who is so perfect that she will become the worthy mother of his divine son. May your birth give joy to our life as followers of your son also by obtaining for us from the heavenly father the pardon of our sins and true sorrow for them. Dearest mother, please pray for us and for our intentions. Hail Mary, full of grace, grace the Lord Lord's is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Your nativity, a virgin mother of God, was the herald of joy to the whole world, since from you arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God, who, destroying the curse, bestow the blessing and confounding death, rewarded us with life everlasting. Let us celebrate with joy the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that that she she may may intercede intercede for us with our Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Let us pray. Together, grant Grant to us, us, your your servants, servants, we beseech beseech you, O Lord, Lord, the the gift of of your your heavenly grace, that as as our salvation salvation was begun in the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin, Virgin, so from this solemn festival of her nativity, we may obtain an increase of peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Imperata. God, God, our, our Father, Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We apply to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Saints Arnold Janssen and Joseph Freinademetz, Pray for us. So once again, dear friends, thank you for joining us in our worship here. And uh, we continue to uh, implore the Lord His help in our prayers and sacrifices. Thank you also for helping us in our shrine through your prayers, through your uh, prayer intentions, the masses you offer, and your uh, love offering, for, because uh, they sustain us in our mission to continue uh, doing this in uh, God's name and uh, for God's glory and for our own benefit of those of our faithful. So once again, maraming salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your loved ones, your work, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Blessed are you.